All right, guys, I thought that it would be kind of fun to see a app and also watch me use that app at the same time. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use an app from my app drawer called Autodesk Sketchbook. So if you've never seen this in use, I'm going to show you around a little bit and then we'll get started. We'll play around a little bit. So let me go ahead and go back to it. All right, so uh, just up at the top of the screen, you can see that we've got a few tools up here. So if I click on the little squares, we've got the ability to start a new sketch, save the sketch. There will also be a save as in there a little bit later. We have the gallery. On the cog, we've got preferences, pen mode, a quick tour, or user manual about sketchbook news, etc. In the little three dots, we've actually got some different kind of tools that we're that we can use. Now I'm not going to use any of these today except for the uh, free drawing style, uh, but those are some things you can play with. They're interesting. Um, I haven't had uh, practical use for them yet, but uh, some of you may. So uh, th that may be something I'll show you in a future lesson. But right now, um, I'm more of a, a freestyle uh, drawing person, so that's what I use most of the time. Here we have a pencil and a brush icon, and in here is where you can pick up your brushes. And I want to make sure that you're aware that it's not just one page of brushes. You actually have many pages of brushes as you go through here. And on this page, for example, this is, looks like this is the fifth page over, you've got all the different pencil styles that an artist may use. Everything from your H's and your B's, but you've also got some different brushes to create some patterns on a page. Some little clip art images to create brushes on the page. And I, if I was you, I would play around with that a little bit. I'm just going to stick with, for our demonstration today, I'm just simply going to pick out a pencil. Uh, I'm also probably going to use an airbrush for part of this, uh, but, but I may be back and forth. Uh, doing some different things. I just want you to see this thing actually in use. Now, uh, it's probably important for me to let you know before I go any further that I'm actually using a Samsung Note 3, and I'm also going to be using the stylus that comes with the Samsung Note 3. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't just pick up a stylus anywhere, uh, but there is a little bit more detail built into the Samsung Note 3 that has to do with using a stylus and, and it being detailed. But this is an app that you can use on any tablet, any smartphone, um, but I just wanted to make sure that you were aware that I am using the stylus that came with the Note 3, and I have quite a powerful processor built in here. So um, up at the top, another tool that we have is the color palette. So if I click on the palette, you can see that I have controls over picking uh, different palettes. It looks like uh, the last thing that I used in here was a skin tone color because it's actually got that selected. So uh, we may play around with that here in a little bit if I get to using an airbrush, if we get that far. And one of the most valuable tools that this program includes and that I've started using in the uh, recent or, or recently are layers. Now, this is something that, that's a little harder to do uh, whenever you are using a a piece of paper and you're trying to draw things but with a software program it becomes very easy very fluid very fast uh, for example here you can see I have uh, one layer here but I can add a couple more layers and those layers can actually be for different things all right so I'm gonna go ahead I, I've added me some layers on here oh by the way notice that I can actually drag and drop these layers that means that I can do a layer of for example pencil work and then I could do a layer of airbrush etc so there, it depends on what I'm trying to do uh, the artist will understand that uh, some of you who are just getting started or just playing around with this you won't have a need for this uh, but some of us who are doing a little bit more advanced things with our artwork are, are going to find that very useful so I'm going to go ahead and uh, begin to do some pencil work in here um, now what I'm going to do here is just uh, show you that I have the ability to pinch to zoom so if there are any areas that I need to zoom in on, etc., I do have the ability to do so. 
All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, get started here. Now, you can see that I had the airbrush selected. I didn't mean to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here, grab an eraser, erase that from my screen because I started to paint on here with airbrush, which I didn't mean. I could have started a new, I could have went up here, started a new sketch, but I want to show you the practicalities of it. It actually saved the last brush I was using, and that wasn't what I wanted, so I had the airbrush selected. So I'm going to go over here and click on a little number four pencil that they have saved in here, and then I'm going to go ahead and start. Now this should be more like a pencil, all right? We still have the color that I used earlier, so I'm actually looking more for a black or a pencil color. So here we go. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this. I'm going to start this drawing out here. And we'll actually... And what I did was I, I just uh, brought up a, a picture of somebody uh, just off the internet just so I had something to work off of to give us an idea what is possible. My, my most important thing for showing you this at this point is not to impress you with my, my art ability or any of that. It's mainly just to show you how realistic this program is. And depending on your talent, you can make it do all kinds of, of neat things. So I'm just uh, sketching, sketching in some of this person's look here. So I'm doing some hair, lose some hair over here. All right. And let's see, in this particular photo, this area down here is a little darker. So I want you to see how nice and fluid the pencil work is, even though I'm using a smartphone and drawing on it an artist can really create some some pretty amazing things especially if they were taking their time obviously I'm, I'm rushing through this and uh, just trying to get this created for you here real quick so you can see what it'll do all right let's give this person a nice smile here Dun, 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 dun. All right. Now, um, with this, I, I will tell you that uh, one of the things that uh, you could do with something like this if you wanted to, and I'm, do, I'm just doing a little uh, freehand work here, if you really wanted to be accurate and, and you felt like it was necessary to, to trace, to get the accuracy or the effect that you were going for, you could actually load in a photograph into one of your layers and then actually use the next layer up to trace. So uh, you, you do have the ability, if, if necessary, that you could... Uh, pull that off. I'm not actually doing that at this point. We're just doing a little drawing just to show you that how this can be done. All right. So I love how uh, the pressure sensitivity of the program allows me. Uh, I only picked out one pencil, and just like a a normal pencil, I can actually use the, excuse me, the um, pressure sensitivity of my screen to allow for us to get lighter marks or darker marks with the same pencil without me having to change. So, um, and, that, and a lot of times with the artwork that I've done uh, is I actually have used one pencil most of the time for uh, a good uh, piece uh, or a good bit of the of the actual drawing and only really used another pencil maybe for my true blacks. 
So um, that that is a possibility as well. All right. So I'm not going to go too much further uh, with this drawing. I'm I'm just kind of uh, wanting you to get the the basic idea about uh, what what we can do, and uh, with that knowledge, you can decide if this is something that you would want to play around with. All right, and this is uh, Autodesk's sketchbook. I've actually used uh, sketchbook on uh, my older tablet, my IBM ThinkPad um, by, well, it's IBM or Lenovo ThinkPad if you're, if you're looking into one of those. Um, and then, of course, uh, as soon as I noticed it was available as an app, for my tablet and my phones, I immediately invested in it because, well, it's uh, one of my favorite pastimes is actually creating artwork. So um, it was definitely on my agenda. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you uh, the airbrush, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to another layer to do the airbrush, and we're going to go ahead and pick the airbrush out. We've got radius and opacity that we can mess around with. We also have color that we can tweak here. I'm actually uh, just going to play around a little bit with this just to show you what you can do. Okay, so keep in mind, I just changed the airbrush. We're also on a different layer, so we're not messing around with our pencil layers that we created. Okay, now I did uh, do two layers that I didn't really intend to do that. That was something that I did while I was talking to you. Um, but I do have two other pencil layers there that aren't going to be affected whenever I do this. All right. So um, whenever I start using my airbrush, okay, when I start using my airbrush on, on my drawing, what you'll notice is that the airbrush looks like it's being painted over over the nose, over the pencil drawing that I just did, but very easily here in a moment you're going to see that I can actually put that back into the background. All right, um, let's see here. Let's go a little bit uh, darker. All right, just trying to give a little depth in some areas and like I said I'm not spending too much time I'd probably spend a lot more time getting this getting this perfected if I was actually doing this with a purpose all right and we're gonna just go ahead and give I don't know what color this uh, shirt she has on is because I actually just printed something out in black and white we're going to go ahead and give it a purplish. And the airbrush does work with the sensitivity as well. So if I concentrate in an area, it does give those a little bit more depth. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, a little, uh, makes it a little darker, fills it in a little bit better, etc. All right, and let's do something with this hair here. All right. Give that hair a little bit of color. And I would definitely spend a lot more time trying to get this perfect and, and fill these things in if I wasn't just trying to show you how this works. So... Forgive me for the imperfections that are going to show up here. All right, so I, I've now uh, given it some color, but watch this. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to take the other two and we're going to put them above. Okay, so what we did was we pulled the pencil work out in front of the airbrush so it actually gives it a little bit different look and it actually pulls out whatever the drawing was. And of course, if I spent more time on, on this, it would actually look a little bit better, but you can now see how it's done. All right, so on that note, 
on that note, we'll go ahead and begin to close this out. Um, let's see, is there anything else I want to show you? Oh, um, something that uh, you saw me use the eraser earlier. And um, one of the things that I would uh, normally use an eraser for is uh, getting a more uh, natural look to hair. So you would actually see me layer in some hair with a... Um, with erasers radius here so i would actually come back in and i would erase okay so that would create uh, light now you can also do that in here uh, you could also do that with uh, pencils <clears throat> all right so you could actually use white pencils in your work here. So if you needed to create white, you can actually do so. All right, so on your pencil layers, there we go. So you actually have, there we are, there we are. I was, I was looking for it, like where the heck is it? So you can actually layer the whites. This is something that I would do to hair to give it a little bit more depth to it. And by layering several different, a dark and light and some color in there, it would actually make the hair look a little bit more real. All right. And uh, let's see what else do I want to show you. Um, another thing with the erasers that I might do is go in and clean up. Let's see. How thick is that? A little bit thicker. Find out which thing we're on. Oh, there we go. Because I'm not on the right layer, because I separated these two, I'm like, why isn't it doing anything? There we go. Okay, so if you wanted to clean up some areas, you could actually do that as well. I'm actually going to come over here on this side, maybe clean that up. Okay, maybe I want to put this edge down here. All right. So anyway, you've actually seen me play around with a little drawing. So I think that should give you a good idea on how something like this can work for you. And hopefully that'll help you make a decision on whether you would want to do something like that or not. All right. Have a wonderful day. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.